Welcome to the F5 Networks, Advanced Web Application Firewall, Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how to use Behavioral Layer 7 Denial of Service Protection, with Big IP Advanced Web. Before watching this demo, we recommend you watch Big IP Advanced Web Demo Number 39, which covers configuration of a Big IP Advanced Web Layer 7 DOS Protection Profile. This is Demo 48 of the AWEF Demo Series and it's intended for advanced level big IP advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to submit legitimate client requests for the web application. These requests will arrive at the F5 big IP system, running advanced WEF. The big IP system sits in front of, and protects. The backend web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request before sending them to the backend web server. Through this process, Big IP Advanced Web creates a baseline of expected user traffic for this web application. The Windows workstation will then launch a Layer 7 denial of service attack. Big IP Advanced Web now examines every request and compares them to the baseline. And once it identifies a new attack, begins blocking all matching denial of service requests, and prevents them from going to the backend web servers. We'll first examine how a layer 7 denial of service attack can affect a web application. We'll use the inspection tools in Firefox, and then access the web application's home page. Note that the 12 requests that it took to build this 137 kilobyte page, took just over 1 second to load. We'll now open another page, which contains only one request, but is much larger, at nearly 1.4 megabytes, which also took just over 1 second to load. We'll use the Big IP Virtual Server Statistics page, to examine how many connections arrived at the virtual server. There were 17 total connections. Let's now view the Pool Statistics page. Note that all 17 requests pass through the Big IP system, to the Pool member. We'll now launch a Layer 7 denial of service attack targeting this web application. This script uses Apache Bench, to target the virtual server that we were just examining. Once again, we'll access the web application's home page. Notice it takes much longer to load. We'll time lapse, for the purposes of this demo. This time, the 12 requests took nearly 90 seconds to load. We'll now access the larger web page. Again, we'll use time lapse for this file. This single page during the Layer 7 denial of service attack, took nearly 2 minutes to load. Clearly, most users would have given up waiting for this page to load, long before 2 minutes. On the Virtual Server Statistics page, we can see that nearly 28,000 denial of service requests hit the virtual server. And the virtual server returned 1.4 gigabytes of data. On the pool statistics page, all 28,000 denial of service attack requests passed through the big IP system, and were sent to the pool member. We'll now protect this web application, using big IP advanced WEF, layer 7 behavioral denial of service protection. First, let's examine the virtual server we've been attacking. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.20. On the virtual server security policies page, 
you can see that we have a security policy attached to this virtual server named 43. Behavioral Security Policy A big IP advanced WEF security policy isn't required to use behavioral DOS protection. However, we are using one so that we can view request details using the big IP advanced WEF event log. We also have a DOS protection profile, name test site, DOS profile, attached to this virtual server, which we created before we started this demo. We'll open the DOS protection profiles page and select the existing protection profile. A big IP advanced WEF DOS protection profile is used to protect a virtual server from layer 7 DOS attacks. Notice the only feature that's enabled is behavioral and stress based detection. This feature enables Big IP Advanced Web to identify valid traffic patterns and normal server capacity. It's then able to identify an anomaly to the established baseline. With request signatures detection, Big IP Advanced Web will create dynamic signatures once it recognizes an anomaly to the established baseline. There are three mitigation options. With conservative protection, once Big IP Advanced WEF has identified an anomaly to the established baseline, it will slow down traffic from source IP addresses that have been submitting the anomaly traffic. Also, if the Request Signatures Detection checkbox is selected, it will block requests that match dynamic signatures. With standard protection, in addition to the settings for conservative protection, Big IP Advanced WEF will rate limit traffic based on the server's health and it will limit the number of concurrent connections from bad actor IP addresses. With aggressive protection, in addition to settings for both conservative and standard protection, Big IP Advanced WEF will proactively perform all protection techniques. Let's examine the Advanced WEF event log. There are thousands of legal requests from several geolocations, including the United States, the United Kingdom, and Australia. These requests are generating the baseline of normal traffic. We'll open the virtual server statistics page and examine the number of total connections and then open the pool statistics page and examine the number of total connections. All traffic arriving at the virtual server is being forwarded to the web servers. We'll also open the DOS Protection Signatures page. We use this page to view any dynamic signatures. Currently there are none, as we haven't experienced a traffic anomaly yet. We've been running this command since before we started the demo. It displays the baseline learning progress. The first value shows the confidence percentage that the baseline has been established. If it's over 80%, we can assume Big IP Advanced WEF has a good baseline. We've been running this script on a different workstation. This script sends valid requests for different URLs in the web application. The script has been running long enough for Big IP Advanced WEF to have established a baseline of expected client traffic. We'll now run a Layer 7 DOS attack from this workstation. This is the same attack we ran earlier. Notice that the first script stops. We'll reload the event log. There are now requests from Congo, North Korea, and Syria. These requests are a part of the Layer 7 DOS attack. Currently, Big IP Advanced WEF is forwarding these requests to the web server, but it will shortly identify these requests as an anomaly to the baseline. We'll let the attack run for another 30 seconds. We'll now reload the DOS protection signatures page and see if we have any dynamic signatures.
Big IP Advanced WEF has identified anomalies to the baseline, and has created three dynamic signatures, based on the anomaly requests. Notice that the approval state for each dynamic signature is unapproved. We can select a signature, and then select to approve it. We'll repeat this for the other two signatures. Next, we'll reset both the virtual server statistics. And the pool statistics. Again, we'll let the attack run for another 60 seconds. We'll now stop the script that's sending valid requests to establish the baseline. In addition to stopping the attack script, in the event log, we'll delete all current log entries. We'll now start the Layer 7 DOS attack again. And then reload the event log. There are no new log entries, as all the DOS requests are being blocked by the Big IP Advanced WEF Layer 7 DOS protection using the new dynamic signatures. We'll refresh the virtual server statistics and examine the number of total connections. We'll then refresh the pool statistics and examine the number of total connections. Big IP Advanced WEF isn't sending any of the new Layer 7 DOS requests to the pool member. Once more, we'll let this attack run for a couple of minutes. In the last part of this demo, we'll view the built in Big IP Advanced WEF DOS reporting and analytics. First, We'll open the DOS analysis report. And we'll then adjust the time frame to view recent activity. We'll hide a few of the sections that we won't be examining. And we'll then view the transactions outcomes chart. We can see that most requests, including all initial requests, were blocked due to blocked bad request which is a result of matching a dynamic signature. Near the end of the attack, requests were blocked, due to blocked bad actor, which means the malicious user's IP address was identified, as the source of the attack. We'll make the widget column wider. And then expand the transaction outcomes widget. We can now view more details, about the number of requests that were blocked, due to matching a dynamic signature, or matching the source IP address, of a known bad actor. We can also expand the behavioral signatures widget, and view how many requests were blocked, due to matching each of the new dynamic signatures. Finally, we'll open the DOS, dashboard. We can see there is a critical attack in progress, and we can mouse over the attack to view more details about it. In the attacks section, we can customize this table by removing columns, such as vector, virtual server, start time, and end time. We can now see that thousands of requests were blocked due to behavioral mitigation. Thank you for watching this demonstration on using Behavioral Layer 7 DOS protection with Big IP Advanced WEF. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Network Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.